every single year this day comes around and it's a very hard day for me. What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. It is Logan Turner Fitness here. It is July 15th, Monday morning at 11.18 a.m. right now and I'm gonna be heading into the gym. We are gonna hit some legs today and obviously you see this grind headband. That's what we're gonna be doing. I'm gonna try something I've never done in my life before today depending on how I feel but I think I'm gonna go in the gym and hit a 315 am AMRAP. So what that means is as many reps as possible. Now I probably won't go to true failure, but I'm gonna go till one rep shy of true failure. Basically, I'm gonna try and get 315 for 15 to 20 reps for my first set, since I have four sets of 15 to 20 reps for squats to start off. So we're gonna do a 315 AMRAP and just put ourselves in our grave today to start off the day. So I'll see you guys after I get warmed up and we are ready to squat 315 as many times as possible. So here goes nothing, we're about to send it. We got 315 on the bar. Like I said, we're gonna want aim rep, as many reps as possible. I'm gonna take about a two minute rest here, and then I'm gonna go at it, that's gonna be my first set, and then everything after that is gonna be 30 to 60 second rest for the remainder of the workout in the last three sets of squats. It is 2.37 p.m. right now. I'm not gonna lie, I underestimated that 315 pound and wrap set. Absolutely destroyed me. Only could use 225 for the remaining three sets. I believe I got 15 or 16 reps on the AMRAP, so that's the first time I've ever done AMRAP. No knee sleeves or squat shoes, just my belt and vans. So it felt pretty decent, about 15 reps. If I had sleeves and shoes, I'm pretty damn positive I could have got 20. We got a post-workout meal right here. We got my usual lunch bowl. As far as this diet's been going, last video I told you guys I was up to about 246 pounds. I am back down to about 242. I do wanna push a little bit and get into the 230s here soon by the end of July. So that is my goal. I am cleaning things up a little bit, but I am actually increasing food, just making sure I eat cleaner. So what I'm doing is I'm adding about 75 carbs to my leg days, and then I'm gonna take those away on a regular day. So my leg day, I'm doing a little bit of a carb cycle. It's not really truly carb cycling. It's more of a calorie undulation. So I'm switching up my calories based on my energy needs. So on days I use more energy. So like on a squat day like today or a leg day, I will use more carbs. So that is what we are doing. So my calories on a day like today are around 32 or 3300. And then on every other day, they're around 3100. Not too much changes, but we are going to push, like I said, and just clean things up a little bit. So it is Wednesday now. After that 315 AMRAP, I did go into a coma. I just was got really busy yesterday. I planned on picking up the camera at some point yesterday and I, I got too busy and I didn't have time. And right now I'm about to go get this, uh, whatever you want to call it, fixed. You guys know I like to get my hair cut every other week. This is why, because these spots right here, they grow, I actually shave them sometimes with my razor to keep it looking fresh, but they come in, doesn't look clean, it gets real long on the top, gets long on the sides, you lose the fade, and I just like how I feel when I have a fresh cut, I like how I look how I, when I have a fresh cut. Yeah, that's why I get my hair cut so often. Then we are gonna be hitting a push workout that I'm gonna be taking you guys through, explaining everything. So if you guys have not given this video a thumbs up yet, please make sure that you go smash that like button right now, but I will see you when I get this all fixed. And just like that, we are all fresh. We got the drop fade on the sides and trimmed up the top. Looking and feeling a hell of a lot better. And we got some pre-workout here. We got two scoops of the Ghost Legend Lemon Lime. About to drink this real quick. 
go around the corner and start warming up for the gym. And like I said, I'm gonna be taking you guys through the full push workout today. So sit back and enjoy this one and write this stuff down as I'm talking because I'm gonna give you guys some tips and obviously tell you guys what I'm doing for the workout. The first movement today is gonna be a seated pec deck. We're gonna go three sets of 16 to 20 reps. Phase three, the objective is getting as much of a pump as possible. So what doing an isolation movement first is gonna be, it's gonna allow you to isolate the target muscle and fatigue it before you move on to the heavier movements. So we're going 16 to 20 reps and focusing as much as possible on driving the blood into the chest, really focusing on the squeeze and getting a nasty pump, controlling the eccentric. So now that we have some blood in the muscle, I did go over 20 reps because I could get more than 20 reps. So I always aim to go one to two reps shy of true failure. But sometimes on isolation workouts, I do like to go all the way to failure where I can't physically move another rep. Pump's pretty crazy right now. My chest is on fire already. And we're gonna be moving on to our first pressing movement, which is gonna be right here, the seated hammer strength incline press. So we're gonna be doing four sets of 15 to 20 reps here. Can't go as heavy as I would like to on these, but that's just because of the rep range. So pick a weight that you fail within 15 to 20 reps. And as always, we wanna focus on squeezing our scaps back and down and isolating the upper chest. So if you're following this workout, you should have a pretty sick pump right now in your chest, shoulders and triceps. Even though we're just hitting chest, when you're pressing, you're gonna use your shoulders and triceps as secondary movers. We're gonna move on to our last chest exercise before moving on to shoulders. And what we're gonna be doing is gonna be a dumbbell incline press, three straight sets of 15 to 20. And then we're gonna do a four set, which is a drop set, which I explained in my last videos. So what I'm doing on the drop set, because I'm gonna be doing them for shoulders and triceps too, I'll explain it right now. I'm gonna pick a weight on that four set that I fail in between 10 to 15 reps. I'm gonna immediately drop the weight, no rest period, grab a new weight, go to six to 10 reps, failure, drop the weight again and do the same thing for six to 10 more reps. And that is gonna be the fourth and final set. So now that our chest is absolutely destroyed, we're gonna move on to shoulders. So what we're gonna start off shoulders with is alternating Arnold press. So we're gonna go one arm at a time, alternating. We're gonna go four sets by 10 reps each arm. So we're picking a weight that we can hit almost at exactly 10 reps. Now if you only get nine, or eight, 11 or 12, then it's probably okay, but adjust your weight accordingly to the next set. I find it's easier just to count to 20 because once you do 20 full rep, one on each arm, you're gonna be at 10 reps each arm. Whatever's easier for you guys, that's just what I find is easier. But we're focusing on shoulders now. Moving on to the second shoulder movement, we are gonna do a bent over one arm rear delt fly on the cable. So what I like to do is when I do these, I grab the ball right here and just use that as the handle. And then I focus on just isolating my rear delt as much as possible, flying it out, squeezing as hard as possible. If you're doing it right, you're gonna feel it in that muscle that you're trying to target. If you can't feel in that muscle, lighten up the weight and slow down and focus on trying to connect with that muscle. The muscle mind connection is such an underrated thing that is very, very important when it comes to building muscle. Because if you're not targeting the muscle you're trying to, it's probably not gonna grow like you want it to. So focus on squeezing as hard as possible. Moving on to the last shoulder exercise, what we're gonna do is a cable upright row. So we're gonna use this straight bar down here. We're gonna go three sets of 15 to 20 on these and then do a fourth set with a drop set. I like doing the cables for drop sets because it's a lot easier to put the pin in a new weight and drop the weight. What I'm focusing on here is I'm driving my elbows up and out to focus on the lateral and rear deltoids and the trap. So upright rows are, I think, one of the most underrated shoulder movements. They're gonna pack on a lot of size.
Moving on to triceps now to finish off the workout. So we're gonna be moving on to cable overhead extensions with a rope on four sets, 15 to 20 reps. Trying to isolate the triceps here as much as possible. Time to move on to the last movement of the workout. So what I have scheduled on the program is three sets of 15 to 20 dips, but I know I'm not gonna be able to get more than one set 15 to 20. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use the dip machine right here for my last two sets, and then I have a drop set. So I'm gonna use this machine for the drop set as well. So we're gonna double tap these triceps, and then that is gonna be the end of the workout. I just wrapped up that workout. It is a 1.30 right now, and that was pretty good. I'm not gonna lie, that pump was pretty epic. Shoulders, chest, triceps, always a good pump, always a good workout. I don't know about you guys, but my work, my favorite day to train, my favorite muscle group to train has always been back, just because I love deadlifts, but when I'm not deadlifting, because of phase three, I do love chest, tri shoulders, and triceps a little bit more, I think, just because you can see all those muscles on the front of your body. I don't really have a favorite day, I guess, because I love training everything, especially legs, because I just, you know, that's why I like fitness, because you put yourself through pain to get better, and I just kind of want to talk to you guys when I get home because today is the 17th of July. I talked to you guys last year on this date because every single year this day comes around and it's a very hard day for me and I'm never going to forget my dad obviously. This is the day my dad was killed six years ago now. Today is the six year anniversary of him being in heaven. I don't know what you believe in but I believe that my dad is in heaven so it's, it's always a tough one. It makes you cherish the people that you love even more now because I know what it feels like to lose somebody so close to me and I hope no one ever has to go through that. So if you have went through that, something similar as me, you have all my blessings and prayers because I absolutely think that it's no one should have to go through losing a parent or losing anybody as close to them as a parent. I was so young when it happened and it's still crazy to think that I'm only 21 and I'm never gonna have my dad in my life again. And I'm never, I haven't had a father figure in my life for the last six years. So it, it's, it's really tough for me um, to think about that, but what can you do about it? Life keeps moving on and you gotta go with it. So I really am grateful for the gym because no matter how I feel, usually when I go in and get the shit done at the gym, I feel a hell of a lot better. And today was one of those days I, I wasn't really down in the dumps, but it's obvious that I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna feel my best on a day like today. It's, it doesn't get much easier, I don't think. You just become more resilient, I think, because I still wake up every day and my dad's never gonna be there for me again, which I mean, he is there for me, so in a different way, but I mean, physically, he's never gonna be in my life again, so that's something that I've had to wake up to for the last six years, and it's, it's something that I don't think anybody can ever really move past the stuff that I've been through and the tragedy that I would say that is for my life it has provided me with some ultimate fuel to honestly that was why I started this transformation because I talked about it before but I was close to killing myself I wanted to take my own life and fitness was my outlet now you guys might think that my fitness is an addiction or whatever but I'm still learning. I'm only three years into this at August 1st, so I still got a lot of stuff to do, but I just wanted to talk to you guys because I don't know if you guys are going through something similar to what I've went through and what I will go through for the rest of my life without having a parent, but I, I really hope you guys are grateful for all the people that are in your life because you never know when they could be taken from you. My dad was killed in a car accident and there was no warnings, there was no, you know, it just happened. Like we woke up one day in the summer and he was gone forever. So um, if that, something like that happens to you guys, I know it's gonna take a while for you to heal. It took me years to heal from it. I'm still healing from it, but try and try, just try and turn something negative like that into something positive, which is what I'm trying to do. Now I know I'm not perfect. In the grand scheme of things, I think I'm a, I came out from it a better person as hard as that is to say that something like that would make you a better person but if I hadn't went through that who knows where I'd be today who knows if I would have had the motivation to get my life in check because I was always overweight um, but like I said guys I just I just want to send some love to people out there that have went through the same thing I've went through or are going through that same thing 
like I said, it, it's it's tough, and I don't wish that on anybody. Sorry to get emotional at the end of this video, but it is something I really do want to talk about because this is a this is my YouTube channel, and I know it's mostly fitness stuff, but I do vlog. I show you guys somewhat of my life. I just want to be open because if I can help somebody who's went through the same thing, then that is what I want to do. I want to help somebody who lost their parent and thinks that there's nowhere to go from there, but there is guys and you just gotta you just gotta keep on keeping on and that's all that it comes down to as sad as it is there's a lot of people that know what you feel like there's a lot of people that know what it's like just i just wanted to talk on just get on here and tell you guys how i'm feeling today i want to inspire people to turn some bad shit into some good shit and that is really why i started this channel i want to track my journey and if i can inspire and motivate people on the way then that is exactly what i want to do so Thank you guys again so much for all the support. The ones that do support me, you don't know how much it means to me. I really do appreciate you guys that watch all my videos and like all my videos and comment on my stuff. I appreciate every single one of you that does take the time out of your day to watch my videos. It takes time to make these videos and I started it because I want to inspire people and the more people that watch the videos, the more people that like the videos, the more people that are going to see it and the more people that I have a chance to inspire and help. So that is my goal. Sorry for all the emotion and the just the rant, but I just think it's a, something important to me. It has shaped me into the person I am today. So I'm going to end this rant, end this video here. If you guys enjoyed this video, please be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.